Thanks, Hugh. You're watching South East today. Our top story tonight. A grieving widow tells how her husband died after an excruciating wait for an ambulance which never turned up. And why the multi-million pound hospital helipad supposed to open three years ago still can't be used. Hello, first tonight, a grieving widow from Beckley near Rye has spoken of her anger after her husband died waiting for an ambulance that never turned up. Martin Clark, who was 68, started suffering chest pains at his home in November. The family telephoned for an ambulance three times. Jane McCubbin has been speaking to his wife, Anne, who said the wait for the ambulance was excruciating. On November 18th, Anne made the first of three 999 calls for her husband, Martin, for an ambulance which never came. I think it must have been around 5, 5, 10 uh, p.m. that I think my husband's having a heart attack. You know, I need an ambulance. Quit. Ten minutes went by and I didn't hear anything. I rung again and they said, we haven't released an ambulance yet. But we kept thinking that the ambulance will pull up any minute. You know, we kept thinking, oh, it's going to arrive, it's going to arrive, you know, it'd be okay. And it just didn't. And we just drove. We just drove to the hospital and we just drove at speed. I just unclipped my seatbelt and I held my husband and told him I loved him. And, and then that was it. He was gone. Martin was 68, a father of five, grandfather to 14. He died of a heart attack. When Anne returned home without him, there was a voicemail. One hour after the original 999 call, they still hadn't been able to allocate an ambulance. The national target for response times to a suspected heart attack is 18 minutes. The average for South East Coast Ambulance in November was 34 minutes. The average across England was 48 minutes. In a statement, the ambulance service said, We are very sorry we were unable to provide a timely response to Mr Clark. Our thoughts are with his family and we will look into this. We're working hard to respond to everyone who needs us as quickly as possible while our services remain under pressure. Would you be willing to tell me and share with us the little note that your husband wrote? It's a scribble. See? It's a scribble. But what that scribble says... I am in pain, and then it, he's put, might not make it. I love you, Duane. With a kiss. Jane McCubbin at reporting. A murder investigation is underway in St Leonard's. Police were called to a property in Hollington Old Lane yesterday evening. A woman in her 50s was pronounced dead at the scene. A 17-year-old boy known to the victim has been arrested. Police are continuing to appeal for information about an elderly man who has died after being hit by a car in Tunbridge Wells. The accident happened in Culverden Down on Saturday. The victim, a 75-year-old man, died later in hospital of his injuries. A 55-year-old man was arrested in connection with the death and remains on police bail. Brighton Hospital's helipad has been delayed by a further year over fears helicopters could blow cladding off the hospital's walls, the BBC has discovered. The platform at the Royal Sussex was meant to open in 2019, but has faced several challenges, including those due to the pandemic. The hospital says the cladding should be fixed by autumn and the helicopter pad will hugely benefit patients, bringing those sickest right to the heart of the hospital. But one local councillor says they haven't been upfront with the public about these safety concerns. I think people have been very understanding about all the little problems that have come up that you would completely expect to happen in a, a large scale build um, of a new hospital in quite a small compact space. So people have been really understanding. Um, they just want some straight answers. They just want to understand why the heli deck is not in operation. Police in Sussex have released video of what they're describing as shocking driving. They hope it may help to identify the driver of a BMW which skidded around a roundabout at Kilnwood Road near Crawley. The accident happened last Thursday and was watched by a number of spectators. 
The midwifery degree course at Canterbury Christchurch University now won't be reapproved in time for the April intake. The university says despite significant improvements, it must further enhance students' experiences and is now aiming for a September start. GPs are to be offered a £15,000 golden hello to encourage them to move to parts of East Kent. The initiative is part of a bigger package to entice doctors into areas where there's a particularly acute shortage of GPs. Newly qualified doctors in places like Thanet, Swale and Sheppey will also be offered extra funding for training. We have a real shortage, particularly in places like Thanet, where instead of having one GP per 1,750 head of population, our ratio in some parts is one, one GP to 5,000 or thereabouts. Um, people who work in, in London uh, get London waiting allowance, which means it's, it's more difficult for us in Kent to recruit them. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, the government's doing what it can to, to improve the situation, by, uh, which is why I'm delighted that we've now got a medical school in Canterbury, uh, but it's going to take some time for uh, those people uh, uh, who are studying there to graduate. Time for a look at the weather here with all the details is Nina Ridge. Overnight tonight will be dry for most of us. There may just be one or two showers around, but for tomorrow, sunny spells, although it will be feeling colder and will keep a strong wind. Another windy night overnight tonight, possibly blowing through a few showers along the south coast. Temperatures will drop down to lows of around five to six degrees. But a bright start to tomorrow, a welcome change from the wet weather of recent days, staying mostly fine and dry into the afternoon. But temperatures not as high as today's values will see highs of around 10 or 11 degrees, so a colder day. Then for our weekend forecast, heavy rain returning on Saturday. Sunday, the chance of a few showers and then next week turning even colder with a chance of wintry showers. Thanks, Nina. That is it from the late team. Fiona Irving is back from 6.30 in the morning. Good night.